guys, so I 43 here, and I am doing another Sony Vegas tutorial. And this one, I'm going to be doing Magic Bullet Looks, or Color Correction. I won't be teaching how to get Magic Bullet Looks, but there's a bunch of other tutorials online how to get it for free. So I'll just be teaching you how to do some color correcting for CSGO, specifically. So right here, I picked Cobblestone because it has a lot of colors. And CSGO is just a really bland game, it has like no colors, so here it is without Magic Bullet looks, or my color correction, super bland, and then with color correction, looks way better, and it'll help your edits a lot if you do good color correction. So let's go use this clip of me just walking around from Cobblestone, so let's pick a good place to edit from. I like this place because it has a lot of colors in it, so just click on here. Video event effects, magic bullet looks, add, okay, and edit. So the first thing I like to do, go here, exposure, and I like to put the stops at either like 10 or 20, that's what it looks like, but just add some extra light. And then here, go to contrast, and a lot add a like a good amount of contrast not too much not too less so i'd say like 180 this is a really ugly preview too so whatever and then you need saturation so this i like to go depending on the map this one i think i'm gonna go never go more than 140 on an, any map like it'll, it'll look like this so don't do that go 140 and under so for this one I'm gonna be doing like 125 I think yeah it looks good not too much and then the best part of this or the most important part is the colorista three-way effect so just click on that and you have this so the highlight is the most bright part of the um, image and then the midtone is obviously the midtone like it's pretty self-explanatory the shadow is the darkest part so here you can change the colors for everything also there's one more thing that you can use warm slash cool click on this depending on either what color you want or you know just kind of tint i think this one i'm going to be going for blue so you go this way blue you go this way red and say you want green or purple, you go this way, you get green, this way you get more pinkish, purplish. So let's go a bit more blue, and then a bit pinkish, like that. So we have the basic tint to it. Now we go to Colorista 3-way, and let's start on our highlight, which is the highest part, or the brightest part. So let's just randomly play, pick blue it'll look like that so pink red all that you can choose whatever you like but this one i'm going to be going for blue so i'll just go in there midtones hold on let me make this a brighter blue this one i'm going to be going for a bit of a darker blue like that so just a nice don't go all the way or else it'll look like that <laughs> so don't even go middle just go like a little bit here and if you just want to color how much slide this up and down and how bright this up and down so yeah right there and then shadow which is the darkest part I'll be picking I guess a purplish like that so this makes a big difference in how the color looks so without this bland with it nice now there's a lot of extra things you can use too, like chromatic aberration, I think I said that right? Which is basically like red Sion, all that 3D effect stuff I use in all my edits. It looks cool and edgy. So if you see, look closely, it has red and Sion. I don't know how to pronounce it, I forgot, but yeah, it just adds that kind of 3D-ish effect. I mean, you can do it for green magenta. 
and blue and yellow. But I like red sea on the best, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of that, like 100, so it looks cooler. And then what you can also do, some people like this, some people don't, light flex, which makes it a bit washed out. So with this, it looks kind of cool. Without it, it's a slight difference, but I like it. And then another thing you can do, subject, this is just all optional, grad exposure, which is gradual exposure. It's kind of like a gradient, basically. So say you start up here, you go down here, say you want blue for it to start up there, add some stops, or say red, I'll go red to regular color or whatever. So I'm going to do purple, I guess. Yeah, purple and some stops. So it looks like that. I'll make it a bit more blue. Yeah, so it looks like that. And you can edit how long you want it like this and stuff. Let's do that. Yeah, and then you can also do vignettes and edge softness softness but everyone knows already hopefully how to do that you just add the vignette move it around like that see what you like add some exposure just more light and yeah it looks nice whoops i reset i reset it okay hold up yeah just do that so obviously this looks way better than what we started off with you can also add just a bunch of stuff to make it look cooler. Do the same thing with this, but this makes it softer at the edges. I'm going to put the blur size down because I don't like blur. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what I like to do at the most. Sometimes if I'm feeling bored, I can just go to curves and have to edit the colors here like this. But I'm not going to do that because it's too complicated right now. So yeah, let's just look at the finished product, and obviously it looks way better with this than without it, super bland, no saturation, had it, looks like that, purple-ish, blue-ish, yeah. So I'll be putting the finished product, and the before product, and you can see the comparison. That's pretty much it for this one, it's pretty simple self-explanatory and yeah that's pretty much it peace out